Is Christian Nazar there? I may have mispronounced that. Yes. Okay, that's 15-186, that's breaking or entering four counts and theft of property. Your Honor, we didn't have any, uh, I think Mr. Nozar was arrested last night. I spoke with him at the jail this morning. It's my understanding there may be more charges coming. Is that right, Mr. Chisholm? Uh, at this point in time, he's not filled out an application, but he's 18 years old and without a home, so he's, he's going to qualify. Um, we will, for purposes of this appearance, do you have official charges, Judge? I'm sorry. I do. Uh, you do. Break your entering four, four counts and theft of property, a misdemeanor. Okay. For for that purpose, we will enter a plea of not guilty on his behalf. Um, obviously, waive the reading of the information. And what was that case number? It, you're on? It's before Judge Webb. It's 15-186. Okay. Hopefully, the state will have the new charges filed by next week when Judge Webb returns. If we could just have him brought back at that time. Have him come back on July 2nd before Judge Webb. Thank you, Your Honor. And he starts when? Sir, I've entered a plea of not guilty in your case. You'll be coming back to court a week from today, next Thursday, okay? At 9.30. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. 15-187, State versus Kelsey Bliss. Possession of methamphetamine with intent to deliver. Possession of other controlled substances. As an habitual offender, she also has 14-269, which is also a drug case, probably a revocation. You know, we'll enter a not guilty plea waive reading of the information on the new charge and a not true plea on the right. revoke. The revocation is before uh, Judge Webb, he took the plea on it at any rate, so. Okay. I guess I'll schedule her to appear before him on July 2nd. Thank you, Judge. Ma'am, I've entered pleas of not guilty in your case. I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you, and you'll be coming to court a week from today. So that, that's all we can do today. Thank you. You may stand aside. 15-180, State versus Patrick Bass. Criminal attempt to furnish prohibited articles. Your Honor, I believe Mr. Bass has filled out an application for our services. He has, and I've appointed a public defender. That being the case, we'll waive reading of the information in our plea of not guilty. We'd ask that Patrick be brought back next week in front of Judge Webb. Reappear on July 2nd at 9.30. Thank you, Judge. All in good day, sir. State versus Corey Saylor, 15-179, possession of controlled substances and paraphernalia, 15-9. Delivery of methamphetamine, illegal use of communication device, other drug-related charges. You know, we'd waive reading of the information in our plea of not guilty and our plea of not true to the revocation. The revocation hearing could be scheduled for July 9th. Not guilty and not true in your cases. You'll be coming back to court on July 9th at 10 o'clock. Thank you. 15-175, State versus William. Newman, possession of methamphetamine, possession of drug paraphernalia. I believe Mr. Newman's applied, Your Honor. Okay, I, I didn't see that application. <coughs> From, okay, he, he, Judge Webb has appointed him in a, in a case that's going okay. on in his division right now, Judge. Uh, that being the case, we will go ahead and enter our appearance for Mr. Newman. A waive reading of the information on these new charges in our plea of not guilty. Do you want the case transferred to the Division 4? Yeah, that would be good because we would like to have him be brought next week for a hopeful disposition. I'm talking with the prosecutor today and hopefully we can get something worked out where he could plea next week. All today, Judge. Okay, July 2nd at 9.30 a.m. be the next appearance. Thank you. 
That's all we can do today, sir. Thank you very much. State versus Ben Dacus. Is it Dacus or Dacus? Dacus. Dacus. 15 74, burglary and theft of property. I guess there's several files. We can just take them one at a time. Yeah, we're going to waive reading the information or plea of not guilty on the new charge. <coughs> as far as the three revocations, we'll enter not true pleas to those. Okay. I'll enter pleas of not true in the revocations. He'll reappear before uh, Judge Webb on July 2nd at 9.30. Thank you, Judge. 15-172, State versus William Lewis. Paraphernalia, firearms by certain persons, aggravated assault. Preparing for an arraignment, is that correct? I've appointed the public defender's office to represent me. Your Honor, I believe that um, he will be a Judge Webb case. However, I'm talking with Mr. Chisholm now. We might be able to resolve that today. If we can, we'll bring him over. Otherwise, we will waive reading of the information in our plea of not guilty and ask that he be returned to be in front of Judge Webb next week. There is plead not guilty direct. He reappear on July 2nd at 9.30. State versus Jonathan Eccles, 15-163, forgeries that charge, 15-157, possession of methamphetamine, forgery, unauthorized use of property to facilitate a crime. Do you have a lawyer, sir? Is the public defender going to yes. represent yes. you? Okay. Yes, Your Honor. He's currently being held on a $20,000 bond. Um, we're requesting that that be reduced to $10,000. He resides here in the county. Um, Your Honor, this gentleman is charged with a drug crime. And also, the, the only reason I'm fighting the bond is this gentleman is, is charged with forgery. And it, it, Mr. Bayless has told me, and I agree, looking at the file, that it amounts to $820. $20 bills that this gentleman is allegedly forged. And the problem that we have is that's going to hurt everybody. Um, there are too many copiers and there's too much money. And it's too easy to, to throw a $20 bill down on a copier and make a copy of it. And hopefully we'll fix that in the years to come. But this gentleman is hurting other people, innocent people, people who don't matter. Uh, so uh, I, you know, that's, not, that's not a drug charge, Judge. And, it's not so much how much, it's, it's, it's just I can't stop him from doing that. He can tell us he stopped. Well, I don't believe that. Well, Your Honor, the, the purpose of the bond is to assure his appearance in court. Judge, the purpose of the bond is to ensure also that this gentleman not recommit a crime. And while I believe that this man can get out and say, hey, look, I got arrested and I want to stop, I want to stop uh, using methamphetamine, I salute him for that. But a person that takes a $20 bill and throws it on a copier does so because of his economic means. This man's economic means have not increased or, been, or, or gotten any better while he's been in jail. And I want something over his head that says, look, don't forge money. That just hurts other people. You know, your benefit not to their expense. That's a selfish crime. This gentleman needs, needs to have a significant bond so this doesn't happen again. the scheduling order that'll issue the bond will be ten thousand dollars eight hundred and twenty dollars of which will be cash thank you Your Honor.